playoffs. We talking playoffs or what? We'll talk about playoffs. Talking playoffs or what? You kidding me? Playoffs? Amazing. All right, you Amazing. got the music okay. here? Hit it, hit it uh, Jason Phil. Okay, All right. right. Uh, we got to include our requisite AFC East team here. They are the fourth seed NFC. They are the fourth seed. They have four wins, but three have come in the last three weeks. The New York football giants. Okay. Now, I, I do have to say this, that this segment was born out of us playing this drop of Randy from Long Island calling <laughs> in the day before the season started. So excited about his giants with... Saquon Barkley and Daniel started. Jones and Joe Judge and Jason Garrett is now coordinating the offense. And he called up and he asked, we talk in playoffs or what? We talk in playoffs or what? This guy. And now here we are. <laughs> here we are, week 13. And look which team is atop the NFC East standings, albeit 4-7. and seven. It's not hey, pretty. Hey. It is not pretty. Who cares? But in real estate, it's all about location. And right now, the Giants are 4-7. and seven. I'm concerned about the fact that the Washington football team is a better team, has the more veteran quarterback who's only going to get more and more comfortable and try and make fewer and fewer mistakes in Alex Smith. And Antonio Gibson and McKissick are better running backs than the core that the Giants have. And the receivers, Terry McLaurin is a clear one in this league. They also have a defensive rookie of the year in Chase Young and a stout defense. However, the Giants have some tough games in front of them. So does the Washington football team next up for the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers. I think this is going to come down to the fact that the Giants have beaten the Washington football team twice and have the back pocket tiebreak to pull out at the end of the season and place on the table. And I think the New York football giants, we are Randy in Long Island after all this time talking about playoffs. We talking playoffs? I think we are after all this time. Where are you, Randy? Where are you? Suffolk? Come home, Nassau, baby. Where, what, what county are you in? Whatever it is, come home. Call us. You on Long Beach? Call us. Yeah, on LBI? I don't know. Wherever you are. Call us, because I think we're talking playoffs about the Giants oh, after baby. all this time. Oh, baby. How how amazing how about would that, that be? Oh, that'd be incredible. Not that'd very amazing incredible. if you're asking me. Well, I mean, I, your I, Cowboys should be able to pull something. We should be, but. Uh. I have a Giants futures bet, so I would really love that <laughs> okay. to make the playoffs. Uh, all right, guys, let's talk about the Arizona Cardinals. They're the seventh seed right now, six and five, but they've lost three out of four, including two in a row. Kyler Murray's banged up. Playoffs or what, Rich, for the Arizona Cardinals? Uh, <laughs> I'm saying or what. I'm saying or what. So what? I, I just don't like the way they finish games. So I, what? I, I, don't, I don't know how they are. Ha- I mean, DeAndre Hopkins is gaining all of the attention for good reason. Mm-hmm. And... He's just being fouled every play, man. He's like Ugh. he's like Shaquille O'Neal of the N- of the NFL. He's getting hacked every single play, and I would do the same thing. It's like let's just keep fouling DeAndre Hopkins as much as possible, and as long as Kyler Murray doesn't throw it there, we you know we'll take the five yards yeah. if we if we're caught, and then who, who else is going to try and beat us? You know, and and the last few games that all they need to do is just make this first down or this decision by Cliff Kingsbury works you got the Rams twice kind of a coin flip end of the year these games for them and they're not winning coin flip games they've lost three out of their last four it could have been four in a row if not for the Hale Murray it's four in a row and the games that they lost against Seattle against Miami and against New England were all like mistake moments whether it was the play call or it was murray's execution of it and if you take hopkins's hail murray out of there not only lose four in a row hopkins has not caught a touchdown in a month out of outside of that so I, I, as much as it pains me because i like this team and i called my, their my sleeper team of of 2020 in the nfc they, they're falling asleep unfortunately and i'm gonna be consistent 
And if I'm going to say in my fourth down earlier this week, even though I'm consistent, I'm changing based on, on, on the results, but I'll be consistent in terms of just the last couple of days in this week. I said the 49ers are going to make the playoffs in my fourth down hot yeah, take, so yeah. I'll, I'll give them that seventh seed, which would knock this team out. So I'm saying, or what, about the Arizona Cardinals? So what? Yeah. All right, last one here in the NFC. Another team that's lost three out of four games, trending in the wrong direction. Seven and five of the sixth seed, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I can't put them, or what. we got to be talking about playoffs of this team. I just cannot. And 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 we You're all. talking playoffs? We might all, in, in this business, go down with the Buccaneers ship if the Buccaneers do go down. I cannot imagine that Tom Brady in this world would not make the playoffs with everybody around them and that what has been trending in the wrong direction can't be fixed and can't put enough wins to avoid slipping behind a current five and six team right now. I I just cannot imagine. That's a big game, I guess, in this regard that Minnesota, which is taking on Jacksonville this week, would come into that game still having some hopes. And there's two against Atlanta and one one at Detroit. I mean, they should. They, this team should be eleven and five with a with a with a four game win streak head of steam. But they're not going to pass New Orleans again. New Orleans would just have to basically win two of their last three to get eleven wins and win this division because they have that back pocket tie break to put on the table, sweeping. The Bucks, the only time in Tom Brady's 20-year career he's been swept by a division opponent. We're talking playoffs with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I, I, I cannot go otherwise. They would have to lose pretty much every last game. That game against Minnesota is the only one team that's currently sniffing it that has a chance to catch them. Right. And that would be a bad tie break to have work against them. If Minnesota can stay healthy and not make mistakes and basically win out, but the team that does concern me is Arizona. They're just not finishing games. They are not doing what they have done best, which is get DeAndre Hopkins the 10 to 15 targets and get all, you know, they should just throw it to him and get the pass interference penalty one after another after another. Just anytime you throw it in his direction, either his catch radius will bring it in right. or the yellow flag's going to come out. Every time they should target him literally every play. Yeah, Murray sees him blanketed and looks the other direction. It, like, that's why Hopkins said that receivers should get penalty yardage added to their stats. Because he is being fouled every time. Literally every time he's being fouled. That's, uh, we talking playoffs or what here? NFC, AFC. So I guess my, my final three I'm predicting will be Rams and um, Bucks. Rams, Bucks, and Niners. Okay. Is what I'm going to say right now. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.